Hola. So that's gonna do it for the Los Angeles Lakers this year. Yeah, I know, sad story. It it sucks because really like watching every single game. Um, as most of you guys know, I'm from LA. Um, watching every single game like kind of made you feel like depressed. You're like, oh wow, dude, this is the two-time you know uh, world champs, and um, they got whooped by Dallas. So. Dallas, congrats to you guys. Um, I, I I've never even paid attention to Dallas much, but I don't know where they 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 are a great team. So uh, best of luck to them and. <laughs> you guys had a really good uh, Mother's Day weekend and for my Latinos out there it's coming up in a couple days well on Tuesday so make sure you guys treat your mother with the most respect you know keep that in mind and love them and go wash the dishes sometimes you lazy cabrones or just get disposable plates <laughs> wait that doesn't work because we end up washing and reusing those so on the last video you guys uh, gave me some really lengthy answers Lengt le lengthy le lengthy and length 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 let's get into it no, not you and me, silly, the comments, cochina. So when I was a little kid, I used to feed raw rice to my penguins and they liked it. So one day I was feeding them right outside my house and I was eating raw rice with them too. And it tasted pretty good. And then I went back inside to watch some TV and then all of a sudden, I gotta go to the bathroom. When I gotta go to the potty, you know, the little plastic ones, um, I sat down and I started to take a S, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. I'm assuming shit. I started to cry and my mom thought I had worms and then she realized I ate some rice and she started laughing at me. <laughs> That's fucking gross. I remember getting my ass beat with a wooden spoon for pissing on my bed. High school was tough. Um, I had no idea you were allowed a bed in high school. Today we're going to learn about cold fronts and how the temperature seems to be very fickle. <sighs> <laughs> and this nipple looking thing. Are you peeing in my class? Where's my wooden spoon? I remember racing down this huge hill with my sister and then all of a sudden I'm doing front flips all the way to the bottom. It's funny now, not so much back then. Haha. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have been laughing. I would have been impressed. Oh. Oh, you were, you, you were falling. <laughs> okay, it is funny. Ego, how did your shades not fall off during the ride? Because I'm a motherfucking G. Since I'm the youngest from my sisters, I would always get punked by them. So one day they got mad and, and I went to my sister's closet and got a bag full of condoms and threw them all over the floor. My mom saw them. I made them into balloons. Ha! Yo, that's a... <laughs> Those balloons taste like strawberries. My parents always told me of how I wouldn't eat anything yellow. Oh no, so that means you probably wouldn't go down on an Asian, huh? Oh, Ling Yong Ching Chong Ting Tong? So racist. <laughs> Yo, but all joking aside, Asians are sexy. Mm. I told you to give bacon away less than three. Whoa, I'm a very convincing bitch. La Mao. <laughs> you got me, you bitch. Um, I used to fuck up everything for my bigger sister. Oops. Um, when she said, when she had a new Brad doll, I used to push in the face and it would get stuck. Everything she, everything she got, I broke it or destroyed it. I was spoiled. I didn't give a F about her. Shh. As long as my stuff was okay and it was effed up. But then, my sister got around to tell me that she dropped me on my head when I was younger. That's why I acted so funny and they gave me attention. 1-800-CHOKA-HO, less than three, ego. Oh shit, you really are a bitch. Just kidding, sort of. What the F do I need to do so my comments get red, question mark? Um, cry like a baby. My childhood memory is taking a piss in front of everyone in Walmart at the age of six. LOL, ooh, you dirty motherfucker. You should go with that kid from the high school and piss all over the school and Walmarts and Targets and, hey, Target. <laughs> Crickets, crickets, crickets. My childhood memory was when I used to lie to my grandma about being sick and she used to let me stay home from school and then an hour later my mom would call and tell me to get my ass to school. Hello, my grandma's so gullible. Mucho amor from Ceci. Yo, I remember whenever I tried to fake sick because I don't want to go to school, my mom would never, ever let me stay home. I swear I was the only kid going to school with chicken pox. Man, I hate my mom. Just kidding. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Don't remember how old I was, but I would put my underwear on my head, covering my face, and ran full speed straight into a wall. Then I started laughing with a big old bump on my forehead. LOL. Did it look like just like the cartoons whenever they'd grow a giant penis? 
when I was three, my grandma was pitching me a wiffle ball. That's the little white ball with the holes in them. Inside of my house. Uh-oh. And when she threw it, I swung. And then the ball hit my mom straight in her face and knocked her contact out. You mother... My mom told me when I was little, I would ride our dog like a horse around the house and we went out for walks. Oh. Man, I hate this. Ooh, what's up, bitch? Hey! My parents told me I ate a penny once. Then I pooped it out the next day and it was all green and shit. Ugh. Are you sure you didn't eat your penny with, uh, with a side of uh, pickles? Or a side of uh, mocos? Ego, what's your earliest childhood memory? Probably one of my earliest childhood memories would be with my brother. I was always with David, all the time with David, and we'd always be doing a lot of really retarded shit. We used to um, be really good hide-and-go seekers, um, so we would hide underneath the house, you know, where there's like a little broken little piece of fence piece right there, like at the bottom of your house, and we just like tore that shit off, and we'd hide under there. We'd sometimes we'd, we'd hide in the trash can all filled up and shit. And I remember once, um, once we, we both were hiding in there, we were playing, we were playing with, some, with some kids around the block, and then I don't know where, you know, it opens up and we're like, ah! and it's my mom. ¿Qué están haciendo la basura? Ah, mom, we were just playing. And then my little brother David would pop out with like a maggot. Look, mom, I found some little worms. Sácate de ahí, sácate de ahí. No, no, mom, no. And that's the story of why my head looks like a trophy. Yo, I still don't understand how my ears are still attached right now. My mom used to pick me up everywhere with my fucking ears, man. Man, I hate her. Just kidding, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I remember our cat knocking me down every time I tried to walk and uh, when I would ride on his back. Man, I'd kick that shit right in his pussy. Shit. I remember taking soda shots with bottle caps. <laughs> and then you became a raging alcoholic. Just kidding. I think I used to do the same thing, dude. I did. It, was, it was so much fun. <laughs> and gay. <laughs> Why am I still talking? Oh. Everything's funnier when you ain't supposed to laugh. Like, for real. Like at a funeral. Por qué te ríes? Because he's the one that invented the Segway, and he died off of a Segway. Oh yeah? <laughs> it's not cool if you laughed at that. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby! I told you to leave that purse at home. Don't go there. That's my purse. And now I do not want no more television. Okay, guys, well, thank you very much for tuning in again. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have a good Monday, Tuesday, and then I'll see you guys Wednesday. Um, again, at trolladventures.org, bam, uh, if you want to win the free uh, bacon autographed by me, Sleepy Brown and Sleepy Mom. Um, if you guys are ever questioning, like, how do you guys, how do we pick the winner, um, you can go to trolladventures.org, and there's, a, there's an actual video tutorial of how we do it, of how we pick the, the number one person. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, let's see. I wanted to ask you guys a little question. If you had three wishes, what would they be and why? So go ahead, feel free, comment below. I'll see you guys Wednesday and I'll sit there and I'll try to read as many as I can. I'm sorry if I haven't gotten to you, but I hope I, I do get to you guys because you guys are super funny and um, um, you guys really make my day when I, when, I make, when I do these videos. I really enjoy doing it. But thank you very much. Los amo mucho. Uno, dos, pedazos. And no, I normally don't say anything after that, huh? Okay. Bye.